Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Xenon HD ROM for your Nexus 7. So let me start off by saying guys, um, I will be showing you at the end of the video on how to install this, so stick around for that. And I know I haven't made a Nexus 7 ROM review in a while, but guys, I'll be making a lot more of those too, and also the S3 and hopefully the Nexus 10. And so let's just get into this ROM. So, uh, as I said before, this is called Xenon HD. If we go into settings and about tablet, it says Xenon HD right there, blazing fast, rock stable, and buttery smooth. Um, this is the latest version uh, from 04.13.13. And this is, I think, if I'm not mistaken, 8.0. Last time I checked, I might not be truly right. As you can see, it is Android 4.2.2. Hold right there. It does say Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean right there. So, uh, first thing you will notice when you install this ROM is the nav bar looks different. I'm going to zoom in a little for you guys to see. And also, when you press on them, it has this awesome, awesome and kind of glow to it which I think is awesome and if we zoom back out here let's get into the settings of this ROM so right here we have quick links we could start off by going into ROM settings where we have a bunch of cool customization options let's start off with general UI so right here we have some um, settings we have custom carrier label um, notification behavior we have some transparency settings for the status bar and the navigation bar. If we go down a little bit farther, we can enable the kill all button, which is right here. Um, we could enable a recent RAM bar. We could change the UI mode. We could enable dual panel, hide extras, LCD density, CRT screen off. We could check that. And some other ones like 270 degree rotation. And so let's change this to tablet mode because I think that's a lot more convenient. So we're going to allow super user request. And there you go. We have everything down here now and it looks great just how it should look on a tablet. If we exit out there, that's pretty much what's in there. We have navigation bar here. Here we can go add new uh, buttons, whatever you want there. So let's add one right there, click on that. Um, let's do, let's see, what, what button action should we do? Let's do custom icon. Oops, that's not what we meant. Yeah, so you can go through here, choose the action. Let's choose, um, um, let's choose, there's so many choices here. Let's choose Google search, or actually menu, and you just click save up there. There you go, now we have the menu button, and it does work if you need to use it. We could also change the navigation bar color and the button color, so let's change the button color to a tealish color. There you go, now we have a teal kind of look at the bottom, which I think looks nice. Oops. And then we have some button glow animations. We could do quick, normal, super quick, or off. I'm going to keep it in normal since I like the animation. And we also do get the navbar transparency as we saw before. If we go down a little bit farther, we get combined bar with port and combined bar with land. Uh, we could hide the navbar if you want and configure widgets. So if we exit out of there, we could also customize the navigation ring, which is right here. You could add more apps there if you want. If we go into lock screen, um, we have some more settings here. I don't know if you noticed, but it does look a lot like AOKP settings. Because, yeah, it just does. So we could enable widget carousel here. We could allow all widgets. We could have volume wake, volume music controls. Oops. 
Um, we could allow lock, lock screen rotation and um, unlimited widgets if you want to. So you get a lot of cool options there. And here we could also add shortcuts. So we could choose a shortcut action, uh, unlock camera, Google Now, select application. Let's go select application and let's choose, let's see what we have here. Let's choose Google Chrome. So now if we were to go up, it would take us to Google Chrome on the lock screen. Then we do get power menu. We could allow expand desktop to hide the status bar or the navigation bar, both of them. When you hold on the power menu, which is right here. Now we have expand desktop. And then we get pie controls, which everybody loves. We can enable them through here. And we could go into color settings and change it up if you want. Leave it like that. And then we could also um, choose the style. So we could uh, choose slow or quick. I'm going to leave it at quick because I like it that way better. The trigger area, let's do big. Pie gravity where you want it. We're going to leave it at bottom. And now if we swipe up, oops, to enable pie controls, you're going to hold on to the power button and select expand desktop. And it took that away, so now we have our pie controls, which are awesome. So let's go back out of there. You do get t some other customizations there as well. If you're going to be using the status bar, let's disable expand desktop. We have some status bar options here. We could go into battery and change the style. Let's change it to uh, circle with percentage. So there it is. I don't know if you could see it. I'm going to go down a little bit and zoom in. As you can see, we have this nice battery percentage right there. And you could also change the color here to whatever you want, the circle color and the text color. If we go down, we get clock. So we could add AM, PM, add the date. We could change the color of the clock. And we, I think we could also move it to the center if we didn't have both of these connected in tablet mode. If we go down again, we have status bar here. We could customize some of the Wi-Fi colors, signal colors, hide signal bars, uh, breathing SMS, breathing missed call. That's not really going to work for us since we're on the Nexus 7. Um, if we press back again, we get toggles right here. Here we could go in and um, add whatever toggles we want. So let's go through here, just add some toggles, and click back, close. And now we get a bunch of more toggles right here. And of course those are customizable in what order you want them to be. We also do get some other options here, like customizing the theme of it. We could change it to light. And now it should be theme light after a little bit. After you probably reboot the device. If we exit out of that, we have system tweaks right here. And we open up that, we get a lot of cool stuff here, enable startup tweaks um, so we have a bunch of stuff here, fix permissions, clear cache enable scheduled tasks, SD boost, zipline APKs so a lot of choices there, if we go back we have prop modder here which lets us do some stuff with our build prop and other things most people will probably not be using if we go down into sound we can enable volume panel and basically what that is is if you hold on the power button or if you sorry if you um lower the music or something you could go here and customize all your notifications everything that involves sounds and then we have about Zen and HD we have all the people who helped build this ROM and if you are running this as a daily driver you should definitely go donate to the developers so, um, yeah, guys, now I'm going to be showing you how to flash this ROM. So, stick around and... Okay, guys, so now I'm going to be showing you how to flash the Xenon HD ROM for your Nexus 7. And, um, let me start off by saying it doesn't matter whatever recovery you have. 
Warp and Clockwork mod both work good. Just make sure you're right running <laughs> the latest version of either one, okay? So let's get into this. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and wipe Data Factory Reset. Now here in Twerp it wipes your cache and Dalvik cache too, but if you're on Clockwork mod after you've done a Data Factory Reset, then go and wipe cache, and then go into Advanced and wipe Dalvik cache, okay guys? If you're on Clockwork mod. Okay, so once you've done that, we're going to go to Install, and navigate to wherever you have the ROM. I have it right here. It should say Update Zen in HD, the date, whatever version you're... Um, you've installed and it should say grouper if you're on the Nexus 7 make sure it says grouper okay that's the one we're gonna be installing first so you're gonna click on that and you're gonna click swipe to confirm flash so let's let it flash shouldn't take too long and there should be one more file that you did download and that is the latest version of gaps 2013-0301 if I'm not mistaken, I'll be showing you guys too. Okay, so it looks like it's about done. There we go. Now we're going to go back and navigate to wherever you have the gaps. I should have them somewhere here. There they are. Gaps 2013-0301. That's the one you want to install unless there's a later version. Make sure you're flashing the right gaps and we're going to swipe to confirm flash. So just let it flash that, shouldn't take too long. And there we go, it is about done. That's it. Just click your reboot, and there you go. Okay guys, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for more ROM reviews for the Nexus 7, Galaxy S3, Nexus 10, and I'm getting the S4 soon. That's going to be awesome. And uh, make sure to donate so I can buy future devices. Also, again, comment, like, subscribe down below. And peace.